Empty Pasta, welcome to my Let's Play. Um, I was tagged by Crystal Sims to do a 10k speed build. Thank you, Crystal. That's awesome. I was so excited to do the speed build. I did it right away, and I recorded it and everything, and then I slept on it, and I was like, I cannot stay in that house. It's so ugly. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. So I decided to go back and... Um, I thought what I wanted to do is do a real place that I lived. And so I put I built it all in my head one night um, while I was lying in bed. And then I decided to sit down and do it. And I was like, I don't want to record because it puts too much pressure on me. I'm not the best builder. So I decided to just build it. And I thought that I would go back and rebuild it and record that and be all sneaky like that. But um, my... My son and I have been sick a lot, and um, it, it just kind of wore me down, and then all this other stuff was happening, and then he had a week off of school, so I didn't get a chance to really do redo it and do a speed build. Sorry about that, but I'm going to do a walkthrough right now, and I have a really cool explanation for everything. I should probably point out that the person that started this challenge was started by Thomas TV, and I'll put a link to um, Thomas TV's YouTube channel and um, Crystal Sims tagged me and I've been looking at a whole bunch of different people's um, 10k and they are amazing builders what they were able to do with 10k I don't know if you'll really think that I did very well <laughs> this right here is not my speed build this is um, just the facade of a person that I rented from and he was my age or my well he still is my age but it was like I rented from him when I was in my early 30s and um, I didn't have very much money but he was this was the oldest house in the town that I lived in one of the oldest houses and he redid his own house and he had a beautiful garden so I wanted you to see kind of what his house looked like and um, he was really talented he is really talented and there was a house a block away that he bought and then he redid that and he restored it and it was just really beautiful and I rented out his carriage house so here is the 10k challenge house that I did it's pretty simple yes I'm not the the best builder but I have to say, building this has brought me back in time to a time very different from now, where I wasn't a mother, I wasn't a wife, I um, was working for a doctor, and I had my own place, and it was pretty expensive to live in this town, and my friend who rented this out, he let me move in without putting a security deposit down, and he also let me bring my cat, so it was... It was pretty awesome and it was it was kind of you know there was cracks in the foundation it was it was old it was very old but it did not smell like a carriage house and it didn't seem you know too bad um, let's see let's just open it up here and I will show you this is a person that is kind of based on who I was at I don't want to tell you exactly how old I was I would in my 30s, it was more like I was finally getting myself together. In my 20s, I was really, um, I was an activist. I liked to just be out in the world. I, I had my own apartments. I rented from people. I just traveled and stuff. So this was me settling down for the first time and on my own and really believing in myself. So this is the place that I rented. And, um... Yeah, so it, it's, it was a one room down, yeah, it's a one room apartment and it had so much character and yes, um, the heater was right here and it was a big heater. It wasn't this little thing. It was a huge heater right here. So yeah, um, and it was very, it had, it was very kitschy and very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It had a lot of character and the cabinets were like an orange yellow and it was really bright and it kind of had, uh, like a Mexican folk art feeling. And I couldn't really bring that out in my let, in my build. And I 
and it kind of upset me. And I did have a lamp on my counter, and there were really cool cabinets here. But you know, what can you do? I this is what I could do with 10k, and um, this stove is really run down compared to the stove that I had. The refrigerator was kind of old and loud, so it was very loud. And I did have I did have a really cool table that was almost exactly like this. And um, yeah, I had my CDs. I, I, I had, <laughs> I, I just, you know, hung out on my own and did my own thing. And there was a ladder that went up to a loft, which I'm going to show you. But first, let me show you my closet. My closet was huge. And I, I had packed in a lot of stuff because, of course, I couldn't put everything that I owned out here and so I had a lot of storage and there was a dresser in here so this doesn't really represent I was going to make that bigger but yeah and there was a really cool antique dresser right here that um, my landlord lent me and so that was really cool but I just put I just put these suitcases here because Taylor her name is Taylor Dobbins um, she's a bit of a traveler and you know so a little bathroom and so that's pretty much it <laughs> we ha I had really cool floor that was big planks and it was um, I don't know it was it was really nice to live there oh I wanted to show you really quick um, since I the Sims 4 doesn't have animals yet this represents my cat Willow that lived with me at the time this this little toy she's Willow um, and so we just have Taylor over here reading and then upstairs was my little loft area and I had a queen size mattress that I slept on and I did have a little TV it wasn't a penguin TV but it was a little TV and sometimes I have it ha had it up here and sometimes I had it down here and I'll tell you I went through a really bad breakup and um, I rented from the library the Gilmore series, the Gilmore Girls series, and watched it like in two weeks and ate ice cream and cried and totally became a Gilmore loving person, Gilmore Girls loving person. So this is my build and I know it's nothing fancy. It's nothing like any other, other simmers. They are very excellent skilled builders. Yes, there was a door here, but it you couldn't get in or out of it. Um, and yes, I did sleep right in front of the window and it was really, it was really awesome place to live for a while. And <clears throat> I enjoyed it and it was so cozy in the winter and with the heater and my cat and um, in the, in the summer, it was kind of hot up here and I brought my bed downstairs, but um but I slept right in front of this window and across the street at this house, it w there wasn't a pond across the street. I wish this was across my street. There was like um, some guys that moved in and they were doing some really bad stuff. And I think they were selling something and they put things up in their windows to kind of indicate that they were selling. There was a meth epidemic where we lived and I really believed that they were selling crack and meth. And one night I was in bed and I heard, um, get down on the ground. And I looked out the window. I pushed my curtain out of the way. And I looked out the window. And there was a SWAT team raiding the house. And I was so terrified that I was going to get shot. And I slid down the ladder. And I hurt my knee really bad. And I ended up on the floor over here somewhere <laughs> next to my white chair. I did have a white chair. And I called. I had a telephone. I didn't have a cell phone yet. Or yes, I did. I had a landline and a cell phone because that's when I met my husband and um, he insisted that I would get a cell phone. <laughs> he, he brought me into the world and I had into the into the technology and I did have a computer at that time, but I only used it to play The Sims. I didn't have, I wasn't online. I didn't have anything. I didn't have cable. I just had an antenna. I, you know, I liked it that way and now I have we have like five computers and it and our computer is hooked up to our TV downstairs we're very computer and my husband is a techie not a trekkie but a techie well he's a little bit of a trekkie too um so anyway 
I want to thank Crystal Sims. Thank you so much for for tagging me. I really, I really enjoy the Sims community, and I've gotten to know a few um, Simmers out there, and I'm just very, very grateful um, and happy to to just get to know people. And I've been doing this for a year, and I, f I finally have a hundred and three subscribers and I'm so happy so thank you for watching and um, it's really cool to get tags so I decided to pick um, um, someone that I just subscribed to recently and she's kind of new I think um, I hope she's still out there because she hasn't uploaded in a little while and her name is K Sims Life and <clears throat> she makes some really beautiful Sims and I did see one um, speed build she did. I don't watch speed builds very often because I do get I get motion sick so I can't watch them <laughs> and like I have to skip through I had to skip through Crystal Sims I'm sorry I think she did a great job on her speed build but I did have to skip a little bit because I was getting a little sick and I love all the cottages that are made and I hope you guys understand that I did try to make something maybe I'll just show you real quick what I tried to do because it's kind of funny, it's, um, I don't know, it was kind of based on a place that I saw in Hawaii, um, a house that I saw in Hawaii, and um, let's see if I could get there, oh, I, I, I can't, let's visit this place, can we visit it? I can't visit it, okay, um, yeah, let's visit that place with our I think there's someone there. I'm not sure if there's someone there. Oh, this isn't even... Oh yeah, this is her. This is Roxanne Quick. She lives here. Um, so this is kind of another 10k that I tried. I didn't... I wasn't going to show you guys. Um, I can't seem to... Okay, so this is a more modern version. And in, in Hawaii, they have... I don't know how to do this. Why is this not working? In Hawaii, they have like open, open floor plan, open, you know, air floor plans. They call them a, a lame, lame, I can't remember. My, my mother-in-law lived in Hawaii and we went to see her for Christmas and she had a really, she had an open room that we had Christmas in. It wasn't the kitchen, but it was a living room and I don't think I could get in here. Do I have to? Oh, I'm her, so I don't know what's happening. Go here. Can we go upstairs? I don't know what's happening, why I can't. Yes, I can. I could do this. Okay, so I'll show you really quickly. I'm sorry, this is turning out to be two. I did not expect to do this. So in Hawaii, things sometimes there's some rooms that are really open. So this is one area, and I hid the refrigerator, this ugly refrigerator around the corner, and I just thought it was really cute. And then... I was doing it upstairs. See, it's really simple. It's not anything. Um, she is a very simple sim. <laughs> she doesn't even have a door in her bathroom, you know. So this is how well I can build uh, with 10K. It's not very much. This is kind of modern. And she is, um, I'm trying to think of the word. She, she doesn't, um, need much. She is a, a minimalist. She's a minimalist sim. So this is why she lives in this. And I she's really outdoors. enjoyed doing this challenge. And I want to thank again Crystal Sims. And I, I think that um, it was a big challenge for me because I'm not a great builder. But it was great to go back in time and build th my, this place that I lived in. And I love doing that with the sims. I love going back in time and rebuilding places. And um, and, um, people that I knew, people that are here and people that are not here with me anymore. Um, so I just want to say thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you feel like doing a 10k challenge, go for it. It's, it's so much fun. Um, and let me know what you did. It would be fun to see what you did. And again, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you.